Hey everyone, and welcome to video 5.5 of Miss Paul's Companion Foods and Services YouTube. We're not going to really teach anything today. It might be like a little review of some information, but I told you in the last video I had a really, really big announcement. It, well, it's a big announcement, but it's in a small package, and so I get to finally tell you about it. I have a new kitten, like I was telling you. Her name is Dora Black. She, well, she was 10 weeks old when I got her. She's 12 weeks old now. We made it through our till our two week trial things actually went pretty well um the transition only took about seven days for miss ebony rose to get used to her and after that now we have a big happy family and this morning we slept like together they were cuddled up and i was cuddled up normally it's like a cat here and a cat there and i'm like a mummy in the middle but i woke up this morning and i was just kind of stiff with both cats there cool with me we're all in love so the only difference that's really been happening since I got this kitten is I have been exhausted. I've had plenty of kittens when I was younger, but that's like when I had a parent and I was staying in the home, so it really wasn't that much. But let me tell you, having this little baby as a full-time mommy, I'm tired. Here, let me get her before she goes somewhere. <clears throat> Here she is, you guys. Little Miss Dora Black. I'll get her closer. She's a wiggly little thing. For some reason, she likes to be held like this. So she stays still for the most part. Where are you going? There you go. They just want to say hi. All right. That's little Miss Dora Black. She's trying to eat my phone and everything around. So recording this video is definitely a challenge. But I just wanted to let you guys know and let you see her. I'll add in some clips and some videos of our seven day process. That's how long it took for her and Ebony to get along. The first day was, she never really swatted at her. The first day was a lot of hissing, a lot of just get out of here because you're little and crazy and fast and you don't sit down and you would think kittens sleep, but they don't. They just don't. I don't know when she sleeps because that's why I'm so tired um but yeah the first couple of days it was a lot of hissing day three to five was more of a kitten trying to get her attention like begging for her attention she'll run up to her she'll swat her then she'll run away and then they did that by day six they were actually playing together i have about 24 to 30 cat toys in here so by day six they were playing together by day seven everything was cool so they slept in the bed um she cleaned her that's why i knew things were solidified so she sat she cleaned her it was actually really really good so i'll do my best to add in some clips and some videos uh she seen my mother she met her new grandma so you know how that goes i've taken her around to the family she's been to the vet already and we'll talk about that in just a second well, actually, we'll just talk about that. Well, no, just a second. The things that I plan to do with her is I'm starting to train her. I'm going to um, harness train her. I'm going to train her to do some tricks. I'm going to make her like my little Roly. Have her on my shoulder. You know, that way we can go around, have a great time. I can show her all the adventures. And especially since she's so young, I've just been, like, giving her some structure trainer now. Some structure training now but she doesn't really know it i'm not incorporating any words or any commands with that i'm pretty much just getting her to follow me along and throughout the house without really telling her what to do but just more of a natural play so when i do add in the words and the command and the clicker it's a little bit more easier for her to understand because she already has the gist of what's going on um so i'll give you a little bit of cat facts just because we have a little baby kitten and i know in the last video before i have talked about different cat things we'll just go over it as a brief reminder since she is 12 weeks and i got her as she was 10 weeks most kittens start getting dewormed at two to four weeks so she has had her first dose of dewormer i've investigated poop uh poop is very very important believe it or not so I investigated her poop. Everything seems to be going fine there. We don't have any problems. So her next dose of dewormer will be she get her second round of shots. And also, as a 10-week-old kitten, she's already got her shots. She's got her first dose of her FVRCP vaccine. Then when she goes back at the end of the month, she'll get another dewormer, her FVRCP vaccine, and then she'll get her feline, um, her FIV vaccine as well. Um, you'll want to keep doing that up until if we would have started at the time of um, six weeks we'll do this up until she's four months but we'll just keep her pattern going up until her shot record is done with her first year shots also in this time is super important to socialize her so that's why i'm really glad ebony's here this kitten 
when ugh, she's silly so ebony's doing a really really great job at teaching her what to do she couldn't barely clean herself the first day so she's getting a lot better at that she's getting a lot better at understanding social cues she was really pushy with ebony when i first got her but now if ebony kind of looks and give her you know the body language that she doesn't want to play she doesn't pry too much so she's definitely learning which will be helpful for taking her out on adventures just to make sure that if she does get into a situation where she needs to back off or she needs to you know make sure she's safe she understands what that body language is come here come here what are you doing she's so cute i want to get her to come over here she's sitting here chewing on this thing it's adorable well it's her toy she's a lot to chew on it don't worry and then so also i'll let you know another thing about kittens too you don't want to have to worry too much about their heart rate if you put your fingers on their chest it'll seem like it's going crazy um a cat's average heart rate remember can be anywhere from 160 to 200 but also since she's a kitten it can max out anywhere be at 220 heartbeats per minute also, you want to check her respiratory rate too. She does run around this house all crazy, but they can tire themselves out. So their respirate, respiratory rate will be anywhere between 20 and 40 breaths per minute. Again, because she is smaller, you always want to remember that those numbers will be increased, but there is a max limit. They do need to take a chill pill sometimes, which I don't think she believes in, but you know, I literally have to put her to sleep like a little baby. Little Dora, little Dora. Little door. She's paying me no attention. She's having a good time. I gotta trick her. There you go. I tricked you. I tricked you. All right. So also all those things that I just named too. Where are you going? They just want to say hi. Hey, Dora. Gosh. All those things that I just named too, don't forget you can always learn in my Animal First Aid and CPR course. I do teach that and we'll go over the seven tips to be a good parent. We'll go over respiratory rates, vitals, and all those things in between. You'll get handbooks such like this one that'll give you friendly reminders. This one has all the cat information to give you friendly reminders of what to do. So don't forget everything that I'm telling you, I can also teach you as well in one of my classes. Things too that you'll learn in a class and just another quick fact about cats is that their first aid kit may be a little bit different. They have things like rescue remedy that you don't want to put in your cat's first aid kit. It's common for dogs and it's um, kind of a, an anti-anxiety medicine. But what you want to do for them is you don't want to give that to them because of the aromatherapies. And if you remember in earlier videos that cats really can't handle aromatherapies because of their sense of respiratory systems. Um, things that you should consider putting inside of your cat veterinary, I mean your cat medical bag, your first aid kit, is something called Serenia. Serenia is very specific to cats. It helps them out in ton. What are you doing? It helps them out in many situations. It's an anti-acid and all those type of things. That's really helpful just for cats, but it is cat specific and you do want to go to your veterinarian always. You know, we are advocates. So you want to go to your veterinarian, you guys are a team and get a prescription and that always just to have on hand because it is very, very helpful. So this video is going to be really, really quick. Nothing too much. I wanted to show you more of Dora, but she's a little busy right now. And D Dora, can I, can I say bye? Come here. I know. I know. I'm really disturbing her. You want to say bye? Can you say bye? Say bye. Okay. You want to say bye? Say bye. There you go. You see the people later. She's all right. She gave me my camera shot. That's all I wanted. As always, people, thank you. Thank you for watching. This was a quick, short video. I just wanted to introduce you to my new little Dora Black. Always do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at M-S-P-A-W-S-C-L-E. And I'll see you guys next time. I haven't decided on the next topic. So if you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments. Let me know what you want to hear next. I've covered pretty much the basis of everything. If I go a little bit bit deeper you let me know what you want to experience we have the springtime coming up so i can cover fleas and ticks i can cover you know the things that can be harmful in the environment with the new season coming i have a few options here but if you have any suggestions always i'm willing to take them in the comment section below like comment and subscribe and then i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching